Hello everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy, and in today's video we're going to teach you how to properly open up a tractor hood. So, when you're talking about smaller training trucks like we use here, or day cabs, these hoods aren't as big. However, when we start going to the big boys, just like these guys over here, these hoods start getting, start getting much bigger, much heavier, and a lot harder to actually open up. So in today's technique, it doesn't ma matter how much strength you actually have, if you follow the process that I'm about to teach you, you're going to be able to open up any hood from any tractor made any time. So follow me. Let's kind of walk you through the process. So before we actually get to open up the hood, we have to open up the latch. So unlike a car, the latch is not going to be found anywhere in this grill area here. It's going to be found on the side of the hood. On both sides, there's a latch here that's going to be locking it in. So to open up this latch, we're simply going to open this up, make sure it's not attached to the hook, make sure it's completely separated. Sometimes what people do is they'll leave it like this, but at the end of the day, it's still locked in. You want to make sure it's completely separated. We're going to do the same thing to the other side as well. So right from here, same thing, lift it up and make sure it's completely separated. Once we've unlatched both sides of the hood, now we're ready for the big deal. Now, before I show you how to do it, let me show you how never to do it. You're never going to ever pull on this grill area. In most grills these days, these are all plastic. You pull on it hard enough, nothing's going to move except the grill's going to move completely off of the truck and you're going to be the one who's going to have to pay for it. The other thing that you have to understand is you've got to watch where you get the step because the best thing to do is always have three points of contact on the truck. So in many cases, there's a step for your foot. It does not matter if you're wearing nice shoes like me or boots or whatever it is, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you get some leverage in there. There's always a place for your hands to go as well. So in many cases, it's always recommended to use two hands and all you're gonna do is apply pressure. Think you're at the gym doing some squats or something like that and you're just gonna pull, lift up your other leg and boom. Now, you never want to just pull and run away because there's a lot of weight coming down here and what actually happens is the springs that hold it together will actually start breaking up over time. If you ever open up the hood and it falls on the floor, you are not going to be driving that truck that day because it's got to go to the shop. And if you can't drive the truck, that means you most likely are not getting paid because as truck drivers, you make money when this truck is moving. So that being said, if you're interested in learning how to open up hoods in real life or if you want to get a CDL license we can help you out. My name is Jonathan like I said I'm the founder of Driving Academy and I designed our school to help anyone out. Our mission is to help a million people get on the road to freedom and what's more free than driving where you want to go and making more money while you're doing it. So if you are interested in learning how to get a CDL license from scratch and if you want to be guaranteed to walk away with your CDL license then give us a call 908-525-3609 or check out our virtual school tour at cdldrivingacademy.com forward slash tour. But before I let you go, let's show you exactly how to close the hood. So, this can get a little, little difficult depending on how big the hood is and how heavy it is. In many cases, super important that you bend down, make sure you use your legs, you can put your shoulder into it, and then you're going to lift up like that. Now you're using the actual power of your legs versus the power of just your hands pulling over so you've got your whole body moving forward. So before you actually get started driving, make sure you do not forget to latch up these, these things on both sides because what would happen is if you forget to latch it, you start driving and all of a sudden you press on the brake really hard, this hood can completely come up and like I said, it can fall on the car in front of you, it can fall completely out or it can just stop the whole process that you're going on and that's not a pretty sight to do. So make sure that this is latched at all times anytime you get into the truck itself should be part of your pre trip inspection when you are about to get into the truck. So, like I said, if you like this video and you want more training hands-on, come on down to our training yard. That's where we're located right now. That's where most of our students have most of the fun where they actually get behind the wheel of the truck and get the ball rolling that way. So if you are interested, give us a call 908-525-3609 or check out our virtual school tour at cdldrivingacademy.com forward slash tour. Again, cdldrivingacademy.com forward slash tour. Thanks. Have a great day. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really going to help us out. Click on that button. And if you want to continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully, we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.